Perfect. All right, so we'll just start off with your name and company, please. Great. I'm Sid Graff, and I'm the proud owner of Spectrum Window Cleaning in Missoula, Montana. Awesome. And how did you get started with Nice Job, Sid? Ah, you know, I actually heard of Nice Job at a convention in, uh, in January of this year at the ICE convention. And then I reconnected with Lars and Nice Job at the huge convention. And um, I was the MC at one of the events where he presented and taught. And so I had the pleasure of introducing Lars and getting to know the team a little bit better. Awesome. Okay, cool. That um, sounds like you go to a lot of conventions as well. Sounds like you really get that, uh, that exposure being a huge piece of it too. Um, that's awesome. Okay. And so what has been your experience so far using nice job with the company? Okay. I, I have to admit I'm, I'm, I'm not a, a, a Luddite, like a, a tech dork, but I don't put a lot of time into technology. I just, I set it up. I usually hand it off to somebody else. So I don't really know how nice job works that well, other than it makes the job of getting reviews really simple and the the end user, well, not the end user, I'm the end user, but the people that are posting reviews, the, the request and the way it comes across is visually appealing. So I get a lot more engagement. Yeah, definitely. No, that's definitely true. Nice job does have a really good way of bringing in people. Once you've kind of got that ball rolling, um, the reviews really takes off right away. And I, the reason that we reached out to you was because of that YouTube video that you made. So speaking of it kind of starting off small and then all of a sudden just blowing up with reviews, can you tell us a little bit about your initial experience when you were first getting all signed up? Oh yeah. So, so the backstory is when I first heard about nice job, I thought, I don't need that. I've already, I, I'm so far ahead in reviews of any of the competitors in my local area. I really don't need that. But we, we do have, you know, a solid, whatever. We had, we had 60 or 70 reviews before I heard of nice job. But this year when I looked at it, I spent a little time with Lars, I decided that, uh, that I would give it a try based on ease of use. And so my first, uh, well, actually going through and doing the setup, usually that's what breaks my heart on new software is because I get bogged down. I go, Oh God, this is going to, it takes hours to set up. And it literally didn't. And uh, it wasn't Lars, but someone else just sat down and said, well, let's set up your test account. Let's set it up right now. And they're like, click, click, click. I was connected to Google. I was connected to Facebook. And I thought, Oh my God, that was so easy. Now I will actually use the software. So the, the first time I, I took a moment to, um, I, uh, I loaded in about, I think, 86 customers that we had served the previous two weeks. And I thought I would just go ahead and, you know, that's fresh enough. I'd go ahead and send out the invitations. Once I hit send, you know, and you have to click them individually. And so I send, 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 send. Before I got to number 86, I actually had three reviews posted. And by the time I clicked the last one, I had a fourth review that posted. Just while I was in the process of doing it, people responded so well that I got really excited because usually, you know, every invoice we have, every email we send says, Hey, send us a, you know, post a review, post a review and nobody does. So having the, the series and the text and the, the good looking user interface for the person posting a review that, that is like night and day difference from what we were doing, even though I thought we were doing really well. Yeah, no, of course. And if you don't mind, those are all really good things. I'm glad that you mentioned how easy it was to use for you uh, and how quickly you saw results. Um, that was something that really stood out to me and how excited you were. That's like kind of something that we hope that we can bring to our customers. So it's, it's awesome that you had that experience, Sid. Um, and if you don't mind, what were you kind of doing before and, and how has it been different since this new round with nice job? I'll, I'll tell you what we were doing and I'll tell you a little story about that. <clears throat> so okay, we just, okay. you know, our, our techs in the field, part of the, the closing, um, the script or system that we use when we're collecting payment, we ask a few questions, go, would you recommend us to a friend? Yes. Would you mind posting a review for us online? And they go, yes. And we're like, great. We'll send you a link because we want it to be easy for them. And we don't want to stand over someone's shoulder while they're posting that review. That's just awkward. So mm -hmm. we go, yeah, we'll send you a link. And everybody says, yeah, we're glad to. And then you send a link and it's like less than 5% people actually respond. We've been doing that for two years. We serve about a thousand customers a year and we had 70 reviews. So that shows you the response rate. Now, even, even this is what shocked me a couple of years ago, we did a, uh, there was a big, uh, we, we live in Montana where there are wildfires. So we had big wildfire season in a town, not far from here. And people got a lot of smoke damage, soot everywhere. So I did uh, what I call a double whammy. I, I contacted our existing customers in the area 
And I said, look, we'll come out and clean your windows on the outside at no charge to help out. But we'd ask that you'd make a donation to the children's shelter instead of paying us. And we had eight customers on a Saturday and about $1,000 worth of work. And they were all really excited. I said, one condition, you have to post a review for us. And all eight of them, of course, said, absolutely, no problem. So we go and clean their windows. Literally, anybody that chose to pay, we said, just make it out to Watson Children's Shelter. They didn't even pay us. It was a strict win, win, win donation. They got the donative uh, value. And everybody's really happy. And all eight of them said, we'll post a review. And guess how many? You want to guess how many? Post a how review. Many? How many? One. What? One. And they just, I mean, we were like, we're doing something for the children. We're doing something for the community. We're doing something for them. And it wasn't because they were weird or, or mean people. It's because people get busy and they forget. And I think that's what, what a nice job. One, having the text interface is so simple because people are already on the phone. They go click, click, boom, we're done. And then having the series that goes out is even when somebody sees something, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll do that when I get home. And then they forget because the soup boiled over, you know, life gets in the way. So I think nice job does a really nice job. I'm sure you hear that of, yeah. of just of bringing things. It's the, the, the way it presents to the customer you're asking to review is so friendly and happy. And then having the follow-up series that I can create a follow-up series, but guess what? I've, I've known that for five years and never done it. So do, 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 I did it with nice job. They've already got it set up. I reviewed all the, follow up stuff. And I'm like, wow, this is friendly. This is happy. Just like the way I present my company. So I didn't change anything. I just pressed go. And I got really excited. So thank you. Nice job. No, no, that's awesome. That's exactly what we're hoping for. And it, it, like, that's the whole point of my nice job. It's, it's showing good work that people like you are already doing. And it's just making it easy for the customers to then go ahead and leave a review. Like you were saying, like people have the best intentions, but sometimes that you know, verbal feedback of saying, yeah, wow, you like said you did a great job. I so appreciate that. That doesn't always translate over. And that can be frustrating as a business owner. You're like, man, I'm pounding the pavement. I'm doing all this work. Like, why aren't people leaving me a review? So I'm, I'm really glad to hear that you were able to get that working for you with nice job and getting that feedback that you obviously very much deserve. So I'm, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah. There's one interesting point since we email everybody or in the past, we emailed, you know, post review. We get a lot of people will click reply and send their feedback directly to our email, which mm. is great to hear, but it's, it has no social presence. It doesn't do anything as a review, but it's good. It's nice in-house, but we need it, you know, publicized. There are a couple other things. Do you mind if I take a sec? Cause yeah, right, like, no. I, I literally, like I mentioned, I'm just, I'm not a tech dork, but I really, once I set it up, I don't really pay attention. I'm like this work, go boom, boom, boom. And I'll just feed it. Right. And so the other morning I was having coffee with my wife and she's like, man, I love that you're, you know, like, posting all your reviews on Facebook and like, you know, Hey, you got another nice review. And I went, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, the thing that you write about, I went, show me. And I didn't even know that nice job automatically fed it to my Facebook page and said, yeah. we got another five-star review and it's posting it out. And I was like, well, hell I got to, you know, and so now, you know, I just hit it and boost and boost that. Cause that's great for social proof. And I'm like it, it did more than I thought it was going to do. And it made it really easy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, when people are looking for, especially for home services, they want people, they're letting people into their homes, right? So they want to be able to trust you and having someone that has given you a good review. It's, there's nothing like it. It's like word of mouth marketing, but for the internet, essentially. Um, and, and having that on Facebook, like you were saying too, is, I mean, it's a big social hub, right? So having it just so easy and available in such a um, user-friendly way, it, it definitely makes a big difference. Absolutely. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a great story, Sid. Now, I, I know I would be preaching the cry with you guys, but the power of reviews, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, there are two things. One is very obvious. Everybody knows. The second power of a review is something that almost nobody thinks about. So number one is when people read the reviews, it develops trust in advance. So the first time I recognized that my reviews were important, I went to give an estimate. Someone had called and when she opened the door, she went, oh my God, sit. Like I read all your reviews. You guys are amazing. I refused to call anyone else. And I thought she was going to hug me and I'd never met this person before. And I went, I was like, wow. Okay. We're going to focus on getting those reviews in. Number two, sometimes that turns into great business. I'm going to spin the camera around. I'm actually in front of a job site where we do a lot of work. So this, uh, this project, the original contact came through someone read all the review. They've got they've invested $80 million in building out here. And so we've got, I don't know if you can tell there's, there's one under construction. 
It's giant. There's some that are developed and finished and they're building more. I'm going to wiggle the camera a little bit over there. So when they first started, they just had that building and they called and asked if we would clean the windows spring and fall. I'm like, of course. I said, how'd you hear about us? Like we found you on Google. I said, cool. And they said, Oh, by the way, you got the best reviews of any company in town. I'm like, Oh, thank you. So those having a good solid presence and the reviews from other people, third party, you know, uh, verification or whatever got us in the door and that, and that's all we needed because, you know, I mean, once you're in the door, you have to deliver what you promise, but that got us a contract that will, by the end of, of next year will be worth probably $20,000 a year, maybe more than that. It just from having good reviews. So that's good. So that's the power of good reviews. Now what most people don't think about the second part is when someone posts a review, that's a public declaration from a customer. They, they say, Sid's great, or I'm gonna spin around. They're like, Spectrum is the best. Once someone publicly commits to something, they almost will never go back. Even if they find it later, if they feel like they're wrong. It's like, if, if, so if you said, Sid's the only window cleaner I ever use, and you post that on Facebook, well, a year from now, even if I goof up, oh. it ain't existing customers in a way that just having a good relationship it's a public declaration where they stand up you know and testify and now you've cemented that relationship for a very long time that's those are i mean again i absolutely 100 percent agree there's nothing like a good review in terms of the initial impression and also the lasting staying power it has with customers as well like once you once people see your reviews, they're in the door. And then once they're already committed and they're willing to be an advocate for you, then you've got a customer for life, ideally. So I think that you brought up two amazing points. So that's absolutely true. Um, I think I think that's all we wanted to ask you today, but did you have anything else for us? Cool, that's really, I, I just okay. wonder, I really appreciate, nice job. And I would encourage anybody, if you're kind of thinking about it on the edge or you go, oh, why should I pay somebody to help get reviews? I can just do it yourself. Get, you expect people to hire a professional to do whatever you do. So turn that around and hire a professional to do the thing that you want done. Mm -hmm. You'll get a better result and it'll be easier and less headache. And the time you save will more than pay for it. So just do it. And also if, if you want to give yourself a little shout out too, if anyone's in Sid's area, definitely look up Spectro window cleaning as well. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you, Zoe. All right, All right. Have a great day. Yeah, you as well. Take care. <laughs>